Yo, how's it going guys and welcome to BCUK TV. Today, we're going to be checking out this RSX light from Maxpect. Hey, how's it going guys? So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Maxpect RSX. This one is the RSX 150. Now the RSX lights come in a variety of different sizes. You've got the smallest one, which is the RSX 100, and that one is 115 watts. You've got the RSX 150, which is 160 watts, this one right here. You've got the RSX 200, which is 195 watts, and then you've got the RSX 300, which is a 305 watt. LED unit. Now these lights are super super stylish. They look really really good when they're hung above like a rimless braceless aquarium. They also come with some legs so you can actually just drop it straight onto the aquarium without worrying how to hang it or anything like that. But I'll show you all of that once we open the box. Now with this light you don't have to worry about coral selection because every single time you say, can I keep this coral? This light will say yes, because it utilizes some of the best LED chips on the market from Cree and EpiLED. Now this will go all the way down into the UVA spectrum. So you know you're gonna get good coral growth and you're gonna be able to provide the right type of light for photosynthesis so that your zoosynthele can provide your coral with all of the food that it needs. Right, so let's crack it open. So inside we've got, you know, a few different things. So let's, let's show you first of all. So we do have, you know, options on how to sort of like, this is gonna be difficult actually. Let me see if we can do it. There you go, that might work. Oh, that'll work. Right, so inside we've got, first of all you can see, these are the legs for the light. So if you just simply want to plop it down, so like I said, if you've got a rimless braceless aquarium, you can just take the legs, put it into the unit, and stick it on the edge of your aquarium, and it'll just look really, really nice. And I'll show you why in a minute. So it comes with the legs. It doesn't actually come with a wire hanging kit, but you can buy that separately if you want to suspend the light from, say for example, a suspension mount or your ceiling. You've got power cables, so you, whatever country that you're in, you'll have the kettle lead for that. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so I've got a UK plug. You've got the cable that will connect your light to the ballast, which is this. So you've got this ballast right here, which, to be honest, for a ballast, it's very sleek, it's very nice, and it also has screw mounts here. So if you decided you wanted to mount it to a wall like so, it would look quite nice. So I like the fact that the ballast itself is styled. Then we've got the operator's manual so you can get all of the information that you need. We've got some little stickers that will fit to the feet of your legs. So once you've put your screws in into the bottom here, you can cover the screws up with these little stickers so they'll sit on the side of your aquarium nice and snug and they won't slip off. Underneath that, we have the light itself. So now you're gonna see what I'm talking about, how this light will really add to the aesthetics of your aquarium. So when you look at it like this, so if you imagine this is on top of your aquarium, you're barely gonna be able to see it in the first place because it is very, very thin. It is very, very sleek. Underneath, this is the, uh, like I said, this one is the 150. So this one has three clusters. So the small one that I've got up here, which is the 100 size, only has two clusters and so on as you go up through the lighting. Now each of these clusters utilize nano blend technology. And what that is, is inside the lenses, there's thousands upon thousands of little reflective surfaces. These surfaces bounce the light all over and mix the light before it leaves the unit. That means that you're not gonna get that disco ball effect in your aquarium and you're gonna get a much better evenly distributed light for your corals. So your corals are really gonna be able to utilize everything 
that comes out of this unit, no matter where they are. The light is also fully controllable, either directly from the light with this toggle wheel here. Basically, on screen, you will have four percentages because this is a four channel light. So you can control four channels on this light. And what you'll do is basically just each percentage you can change with this toggle wheel here. And when you're happy with it, click it down and that is your OK button. So you can control everything from the light itself or you can utilize the app. Using the app is gonna be the easiest way to get the most out of your MaxSpec equipment, including the lights. You will, however, need the ICV6 control box, which is like the central hub. Your phone will talk to the ICV6, and the ICV6 will talk to all of your MaxSpec equipment, whether that's the lights, the gyros, or the turbine duo return pump. It just makes it so easy. And I'll show you how it works. On screen just there now, you can see my phone. So you're gonna go through it. You can see I've got two ICV6s on my app. One of which, which says the wife ICV6, that is this tank right here. So that is my personal ICV6. And the other one is like my demo ICV6 when I'm showing people out and about away from this area. So we'll click on this one. And you can see that there's a few things in my ICV6 already. We've got the Gyra 200 series pumps, which is that one and that one. And then we've got two different RSX things. So what you can actually do is you can actually group things together. So I've got grouped two lights, but not the middle one. So this light on the end and this light on the end are grouped together. The middle one is on its own. And I'll explain why. So if I just touch on it, you can see one of them says low light coral and the other one says high light coral. I've named it this way just so that I can remember which is which. So the low light coral says on it front light, which is this one, and back light, which is this one. Now the reason why they're classed as low light is because the Montipora uh, island just here doesn't require tons of light. And on this island here, that is mostly LPS. So the same again, it doesn't require tons of light. I have actually switched the lights off so I can show you how this works. So if we hit control, it will take us into this section here. And you, as you can see, we've got a bit of a blank canvas. There's nothing on there. So what we can do is we can hit the little dots on the right hand side, and then we can select easy setup mode. Now this is gonna be great if you don't know what the right type of spectrum is for your corals, because this is just gonna make it a lot easier for you because there's some presets. So if you hit auto mode, you've got six different options. SPS mode, LPS mode, soft corals, SPS and LPS, soft coral LPS, and fish only. Now, because I'm gonna be turning this light on and that light on, I'm gonna go for the LPS setting because I don't want tons of light going on these corals. So I'm gonna hit the LPS setting. Then I get the option to choose my color. So depending on your personal preference, you get to choose. So if you like it very, very blue, for example, and you like to see the sort of like the coral, the color, the colors on the corals pop, then you can go for something like 20,000 Kelvin. So it'd be really deep blue and you get to see those real color popping corals. Now me personally, I like to see it a little bit of blue and white. I like to see it a bit more white, to be honest. So I tend to go for 16,000 Kelvin, which gives what I feel the best of two worlds. If I hit confirm, it'll then give me the option to select times. Now you can choose these times to whatever you think is best for your lifestyle. So we'll just go with this for now. So it's, the light will come on at 11.30 a.m. and it'll go off at 9 p.m. So if we hit apply, there we go. So you can see we've got a blue look on this side and this side, but we don't have any light in the middle. We hit confirm, that's it. You can see we've now got the spectrum set up. The reds and the blues, so if we go to this one here, um, you can see we've got 64% on the yellows, 80% on the blues, 80% on the violets, and 80% on the reds. So that gives us this color rendition right here. If we go back and go over to the highlight coral, you can see it says middle light, which is this one. So I've set that up myself. You can have the ability to set it up however you want. So if hit, hit control, same again, we've got a bit of a blank canvas. 
hit those dots on the side and we'll go to easy setup and we'll hit auto mode. Now because this island here is SPS dominated, I'm going to want the SPS setting. Same again though, I get to choose the colour. So although this is on LPS, that's on LPS and this is on SPS, I'm still going to be able to choose a colour that matches so my eyes are not going to be off. It's still going to look the same right the way through the tank, but the corals in this section are going to get a different spectrum to a corals in that section. So hit confirm, same again, we get to choose a time, hit apply, and there we go. So now we've got all of the lights on and you can see it still looks very, very even, although this section is at a higher intensity. So you can see before, the, uh, before we was at, let me just move over so I can show you. Before we was at 64%, 80% and 80%, but now this middle light is at 80%, 100%, 100%, 100%. So that's, you know, the difference, but you can still see it looks quite even. So it makes it that easy. We've also got some other presets in there. So if we go to auto mode presets, you can see it says SPS dominant, SPS LPS. We've even got one that says freshwater planted aquariums. So you can even use this light if you have a freshwater tank. So that makes it really, really good. If you've got acans and scullies, they've even got a profile for that and it has moonlight. So it makes it really, really easy to control these lights. So guys, if you are interested in a Maxpec RSX light, they are available in all good stockies. So go down to your local fish shop today and ask them for one of these lights. If you'd like to know more, there will be links and everything that you need in the description of this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you give us a big like on this video and also on our Facebook page. If you're watching on YouTube, same again, leave us a little comment in the description and let us know what you think of this light. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button just there. And if you want to check out any other videos from BC UK, hit that link just there. Guys, thank you so much for checking us out today. See y'all soon.